I'm Patrick Sang, global citizen, investor. Join me as I talk with global influencers for their insight, wisdom, and how they overcame their own personal challenges. Sharing positivity, overcoming challenges, creating one world together. I'm Patrick Sang, anything is possible. Welcome to another episode of Anything is Possible. This is a fireside chat. I'm in the Monaco Streaming Film Festival in Monte Carlo. We're in the Grimaldi Forum. Josephine, welcome. Thank you. Josephine, tell me who you are and what's your, what does your organization do and what's the mission? Well, um, I am the CEO of RG Capital Group, which is a, a family, was a family group for Reg Grundy. Reg Grundy, the Australian TV mogul. Well, the very, the very small company, right? It's a very small company. <laughs> the, in fact, just him and his wife, um, and we're a very small group of people. But at one time, the Grundy organization was over a thousand people Absolutely. working for them, and in eighteen countries. Uh, Reg was known for his television productions. Yes. What he's not known for is particularly innovation. But Reg Grundy created formats, and this is really what I'm trying to get out now on this Legacy Award. I'm creating Legacy Awards for Reg Grundy. Well, I at the front end, but it's always been an ambition of Mrs. Grundy and the group anyway. Thank you. I was just uh, joking there. So we're here at the Monaco Film Festival, Streaming Film Festival. What are you guys trying to achieve here? Well, as I say, this is the next part of the, of the plan, a Reg Grundy legacy. We already started with a Reg Grundy TV award in Australia back in November. That was for to, try, to find creators of content. This was put to me um, as an innovation thing, and Reg was very forward thinking, very forward thinking. Um, he talked to me about streaming 15 years ago wow. and said how we would all be watching programs on our telephones. And I, I said, our phones didn't even have pictures. I said, you've got to be having a laugh because I said, I don't want to watch a, a program on my, on my phone. It's too small. But now look at us. So um, it's to get him known and to create another one that, that links into the, the creator. And now this is a festival for content sharers, uh, see seekers. and. Um, it sort of creates a circle, if sure. you like. And are you excited about how content creation and sharing is evolving, especially in the last you know, three, five, seven years? Absolutely. We wouldn't have survived COVID without it. Wouldn't have survived COVID without it. And, you know, living abroad is very, when you live abroad, it's very hard and traveling a lot, as I do, to get your, the programs that you like. You know, um, I grew up when we had two television channels. We had black and white TVs. Um, you know, colour was an exciting, exciting <laughs> progression, um, and it just goes on. And now I can go into any country and I can see. And now it's not HD. We're complaining. Yeah, and yeah. Now if it's not, you know, if it's not HD, if it's not 4K. Now I only just got used to 4K, and we're all talking 8K. So yeah. you know, excellent. It's good because my eyesight's getting worse <laughs> as I get older. <laughs> so what, what, um, what do you think are the new innovation and things that make you very excited? Innovation. Well, what makes me excited is the person we've given our award to, but I'm not going to say who sure. that is and what he's developed, which sure. is really very exciting. Excellent. Um, I, well, I, what makes me excited is the colour and the, the 3D and the animation. I love VR. I mean, I, you know, I have an Oculus and I just love that immersive. Uh, sometimes I'm on the aircraft and I, I go on a roller coaster, which is really cool. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and um, in terms of um, career, you've had a long, extensive career in the space, done very well. How would you define success and how do we go about achieving that? How would I define success? Well, it isn't earning the money. Success is feeling satisfied with what you do and excited by what you do. And I think success is being respected by other people when they respect your word and what you do and they can rely on you. That to me is success. Uh, and what advice would you give young people to try to get to where they want to get to? Always be honest. Don't lie. Don't pretend. Don't be false. Um, please girls stop wearing all the makeup and the false eyes and blowing your lips up because you know when you're young it's as beautiful as you're going to be and everybody loves a, a young face so the less you do is more and less you, is more and let your yes less is more and let your joy shine through love that so be authentic be authentic yeah. absolutely great absolutely. I, love that. I love that Josephine thank you um, give us an example in your career or you know not have to be business life but your personal life where is there a situation where you wanted to give up very close to it, you didn't, and you persevered and made something successful? Oh, apart, from the, uh, apart from this festival. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, I worked for an Italian um, and four years of putting a, a company called Dairy Queen around Europe. Okay. And um, it, it was a classic. Um, his attitude was, uh, it was a franchise system. My background is chartered accountant. So I was always... That's very exciting. So it, my, my career has been actually, it's not always so boring, but my, I've lived you know, many beautiful places. Well, that, that's the thing, you, you make it exciting. Yeah, right? I decided you know, to, to go on and do different things. Sure. So he, this was setting up fast food franchise, Dairy Queen, throughout Europe. The only problem was, he, being an Italian, he said, oh, we Italians, you know, he said, they say we, Americans say we go like this, but we like to go like this. And I said, well, that's, that's not quite the point of franchising. I said, you take it and you plug it in. So it was, that was hard work. And there were, there were many times where I thought, you know, this is not worth it. This is really not worth it. But no, I like the excitement. I think boredom. Yeah, there's, I give up if, it's, if I'm bored. Then I think, no, it's time to move on. But um, I've been 26 years in this job. That's fair enough. That's a great point. So a lot of, um, you know, do something passionate. Passionate. I mean, yeah, I think you have to find your niche. Some mm. people don't want to do. I mean, I travelled a lot, but I'm, a lot of my school friends who I'm in touch with, thanks to things like Facebook, where there's a group. Mm. A lot of them, you know, have kept the simple life, and they're very happy. Just sure. find what's going to make you happy. Sure, absolutely. They yes. have families. They they've had very nice lives, and they don't look at me and envy me. They go, oh gosh, I couldn't do that all the time, mm. running around the world. Yeah. So. Don't, don't think you've got to impress other people. The only person you've got to live with is yourself. True, absolutely true. So in Anything Is Possible, one of the key spirits is, you know, you, I always say that you're dealt with a hand of cards in yeah, the life absolutely. of poker. And all I do is play the best hand that I have, not what Josephine has, and vice versa. And exactly. she, if she does well, I'm very happy for her. So exactly. there's no need for this jealousy and so on. In fact, people who seem to be successful are usually not that happy. Exactly. And the guys that are happy are just living in a quiet home with their kids, going to school, going but on home, you know. I think you mustn't also, you know, there's this thing that you can do anything you want, be anything you want, have everything you want. You can't. You, ha you have to make choices. I decided I liked my career and I liked working. And I decided that I couldn't have a family and give them, I'm a 120% person, I couldn't give them what I had, which is a great upbringing by my parents. Um, and I made my choice. And I think that You've got to stop thinking you can have it all. Just have what will really make you happy. And, and if it doesn't, then move to what, what else you might think. But don't think, and don't strive to have it all. Because then you just wear yourself out. Quality more than quantity. Definitely, quality more than quantity. So when anything is possible with this podcast, we try to share positivity, overcome challenges, and create one world together, which means that we try to promote diversity and try to eliminate prejudice. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, how would you share your number one advice to our audience who are mainly young people who will become young entrepreneurs, business leaders, or just general advice in life? Well, you know, everybody is equal. Um, um, my family is a very mixed bunch of people, <laughs> by chance. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I have a place in the Bahamas where I live, and I find the Bahamas is, I love it. The people are so inclusive. We don't see each other as different colors, different ages. You know, when we all mix together and party together, you've got 80-year-olds, 20-year-olds, black Bahamians, white Bahamians. We're just there to enjoy life. And um, everybody is treated equally. And I hope, certainly in the people I've dealt with, but I, you're always gonna have some who think they're better than others. And we just try and hope that you can change uh, people's attitude. We've seen a lot of changes last year, certainly. Sure. Um, Josephine, thank you for your time. Um, appreciate your wisdom and insights and good luck with the, the Legacy Award and um, all that you're doing and hopefully we'll know in a few days uh, who it is. You will. Yeah. Anything's <laughs> possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.